Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2012 Robot Spirits Bandai Collection Shop exclusive. This is the Plan 1058 Code Li from the Full Metal Panic Second Rate Series. Great arm slave. Typical packaging that we see with all the Robot Spirits figs. We get to see the fig right there. Some of the accessory pieces. Nice pick of the, the arm slave right there. Spin it to the back. We get to see some of the different accessory pieces and poses that you can put them in. So let's take a look at the fig now. All right, let's take a look at the accessory pieces real quickly. We have an alternate head. We have the nice Gatling gun. We have several different um, hands here. We have the nice little ammo clip with a um, drum that it actually connects to on the back. We have the actual fig and the little clip down here. The Lambda driver in effect, I believe, and in an installment state. Two other guns, his knife, and the sheath right there. So, all right, let's take a look at the fig now. All right, here is the Code Li and... You know, in the first season, it was called the Venom, and I'm probably going to just call it the Venom here. Um, it was introduced in the first Full Metal Panic series, and then we saw it again in the second raid. And this is the main, you know, villain to um, Sosuke's Arbalist. Both of them having a Lambda driver and whatnot, so. But very well detailed. I mean, the Robot Spirits line is just fantastic. And you got that nice head sculpt. Detail throughout. I mean, even to the hands there. You can kind of see the kind of like the claw like looking hand. So and again, because it is a robot spirits fig, you have a ton of articulation, which I'm not gonna really go over all of it. I mean, whatever poses you want to put it in, you can. I mean and pretty much you really you know, having a stand would work, but you really don't need one if you don't want to either. I mean, you can even get it into a nice kind of You know, super kick if you want. I mean, there's there's tons of stuff you can do with it, which is really sweet. And I will have some picks at the end that showcase more of like the weapons, you know, and the different hands and stuff like that. But you do have ports on the back here, so you can put the Lambda driver on there, or you can actually have it actually being in effect. But unfortunately, like the Arbalest review that I did, it doesn't have any effect pieces to actually like, you know, kind of showcase that it's really doing some would have been nice but yeah you can have that back there then you have some holes right there that you can peg his guns on if you like so you can have those on the back like so and then i also like the fact that you can actually um just like in the show, which is really cool. Swing them around. And um, actually, there's a little handle right there. It's kind of a pain to get. But there, there we go. So you can connect it on the back, and then you can actually, depending on the hands that you have on him, but you can actually have him holding onto his gun, which is really cool. I like that, just like you see in the show. Or if you want to give him some more firepower, he's got the nice Gatling gun, which you can just plug in down here. Like so. And then you can take a nice little ammo clip. Plug it into there. Plug this into the bottom piece right here. Open up this little panel, and there's a little peg that you can see right there. It's actually going to peg underneath into that hole right there. It's kind of a pain at first, but once you get it on and pegged on, Looks pretty nice. There we go. So, he has his Gatling gun. Really nice. Again, and then you have his knife. You can just house it in there if you want. And then it's got another peg also. And you can peg it on the back. 
if you like, or you can, um, if you don't have this on there, you can peg it on there. You can peg it several places if you like, which is kind of cool. I do like that. Now it does come with another head, which there's really no difference except for this version actually has a slit in the uh, mouth piece that you don't get with this one. But all right, real quickly, let's do some comparisons with some other Robot Spirit Full Metal Panic figs. We have Weber's AS unit there. We have Mao's AS unit, and here is the Folk. They don't look too bad with each other. It's a great five-inch line. I mean, Robot Spirits, again, does a great job. Definitely worth picking up if you're into the Full Metal Panic series and you're looking for, you know, just figs that aren't models, I guess. There are different versions of the Kodal. There's the first one from the first Full Metal Panic. Um, there's this version, which is codenamed Venom, which is probably the more, I guess, iconic out of the three. Then there's the Kodal M that's from the second rate also. And if I had to choose, I'd probably buy this one. This one will be a little more expensive, but you get a lot more weaponry, and I just like the look of it better. So there's also a weapon set you can also um, pick up separately, too. It gives them some more, um, I guess, stabbing weapons, because there's knives, there's stabs, there's swords and stuff like that in there. So um, that's about it, guys. It's just been a quick look at the Robot Spirits Code LI. Thank you for watching again. I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.